drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos dear students let's proceed further with our chapter hydrocarbon so far we have completed the first topic the general introduction and then in the second topic we have completed the structure the basic stuff and revised the nomenclature then we have completed the preparation then we have uh, completed the properties okay physical and chemical both and in this video we will uh, study the topic conformers okay so let's start confirmation of the alkanes in conformers okay so basically uh, as we have earlier studied that there will be single carbon carbon bond the sigma bond so there is no restricted rotation as there was in double bond okay so the single single bond they are free to rotate in whatever direction they like okay and because of this free rotation the special arrangement could change okay and the such free rotation will lead to different special arrangement of the atoms which are attached to the carbon atom okay and that will give to different configuration and so uh, they will form different conformers and this phenomena is known as conformation or conformation okay and they are also known as rotamers because uh, they are formed by rotation and uh, we should note that it is different from isomer okay in isomers the in geometrical like cis trans they have the independent structure and they are restricted okay whereas in conformers they rotate okay but their independent existence is not as such as that of isomers so they are pretty much different from isomers and any alkane infinite number of combination could be observed okay but such rotations are not actually completely free and they have certain small amount of energy barrier okay but this energy barrier is very small and they just flip flop into various of the conformers okay and uh, this barrier is will be because of the interaction with the adjacent atom or bonds and that will result into strain and this is known as uh, torsional strain okay so basically uh, abundant number of uh, conformers could be there but uh, they keep on changing as they cross the energy barrier so as the temperature will vary so uh, they will have different uh, conformers okay different uh, arrangements okay like eclipsed eclipsed or staggered and all okay. we'll study about this so first of all how to represent okay how we are going to represent the conformers on paper okay so there are generally three ways by which we can represent this 3d representation because every time this 3d representation is very difficult to visualize so in order to visualize this we uh, represent it via either sawhorse formula or the newmans or the fisher okay that is basically the 2d representation of the 3d structure okay so first of all let's see the sawhorse representation okay. so what we are going to do is like this is the sawhorse representation so it will be like carbon carbon bond that will be drawn in a straight line with slightly tilted uh, to the right okay so that uh, they could be clearly visible like uh, you can see this this it's becoming a bit uh, close to each other whereas this is more clear this carbon and another carbon okay and the front carbon will come to the, the left and the back carbon will come to the right 
slightly above okay this will slightly lower this will slightly above for just for the sake of the clarity okay so this is two form this is staggered form and this is eclipsed form eclipse means one this atom is directly in front of this atom okay similarly these two they are in front of each other these two they are in front of each other so it is eclipsed one over the other okay then another one is staggered okay the staggered is like this hydrogen and another this hydrogen okay it will be just opposite not one above the other okay that's the mirror image you yeah, just rotated it so these two staggered and eclipse that is 180 degree rotation so just tell me which will be more stable confirmer staggered or eclipse obviously staggered because there is less repulsion no hydrogen is present here just directly above whereas all the three hydrogen atoms they are facing each other so there will be more repulsion more strain so it will prefer staggered and in between others they are the Gauche form okay so this way we represent uh, the confirmer in 2d representation is clear this is front that is back carbon and then this uh, whatever the groups like here the uh, hydrogen is attached so can okay. next is Newman projection in Newman projection there will be like front carbon will be represented by a point and then other three groups attached to it and the back carbon is represented by a circle then the three groups attached to it okay so it's simple okay front carbon a point and attach the groups back carbon by a circle then attach the three groups okay so this is a staggered form okay no just one above the other atom is not present this is eclipsed just for the uh, shake of clarity we have just uh, deviated uh, from these two otherwise for all practical purposes eclipse means one over the other okay this will be much closer and in between this staggered and eclipse and this will come here it will become eclipse so all other forms they will be known as God chain so maximum strain will be in eclipsed minimum strain will be in staggered and in between will be Gauche and uh, like it will all depend upon the strain so we can easily convert the uh, Sohorst projection into a Neumann projection just what we have to do is the left like in the Sohorst this left like if we have to draw this left one will be there's a point then all the three groups then the back like we have hydrogen over here then we'll form a circle that will be the back carbon and then the groups attached to it so it's pretty simple okay and if suppose it is not hydrogen it's cs3 and this is also cs3 so they are opposite to each other so first so this will be cs3 and at the back this is hydrogen hydrogen and this is cs3 so conversion is quite simple next another form that is fisher projection in fisher projection we have two horizontal lines and two vertical lines okay so the horizontal lines represents the atom that are pointed towards the viewer whereas the vertical line they uh, represent the atom that are pointed away from the viewer okay so 
we have studied earlier the dodge and dash form okay straight line they are in the plane and then uh, this wedge out of the plane and then dash inside the plane away from the viewer now we have to convert this into like uh, two that towards the viewer and two groups away from the viewer we have to just rotate it so just simply just if we rotate it anti clockwise so this a and b they will just go inside the paper and this uh, d will come out of the paper towards the viewer so c and d will face towards the viewer and a and b will away from the viewer the vertical line will point away from the viewer and the horizontal line towards the viewer that's why we have represented by wedge and this by dash okay so just simply we'll draw it okay so like if we have to convert any uh, for example let's take and cs3 so how we are going to convert this sawhorse projection your sawhorse and human were easy how to convert this sawhorse projection into a fissure projection okay so we will have to convert like this so it will become cumbersome so easier technique is like this will be inside the paper and this will be on the paper so just rotate it into a eclipse form Okay. put cs3 over here okay and then these two now they are inside the paper so they will form the part of the vertical line so this down c2 h5 and this at the top okay and then h and h to the left and right this is cs3 and then it is h okay so this way we can convert uh, similarly if you rotate again more so you can get other forms like any two rotation will give you the another confirm okay so this way you can convert any of the like from shawhorse to newman or to uh, fisher okay that's how please note that confirmers they are not a type of isomerization because their energy barrier is too low and their existence depends upon like temperature in which form they will be like whether it will be eclipse or staggered and there is a like relative stability like you will encounter about the cycloalkane for example the cyclohexane so they have very various forms of confirmers this is one of the confirmers this is chair form similarly if that rotates to this side then you will get a board form and there are other more variation this is more stable this is less stable or uh, repulsion is there okay so uh, that's all about the confirmers in our uh, we have completed this uh, topic alkene in our next video we will discuss about the alkene and then alkyne 